Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Tom Toughnuts coming at you with another reaction. Guess what? I was very, very overwhelmed with the amount of feedback I got for our reaction to Tom McDonald doing Deer Slim. It was the first time I've ever heard of the song, let alone Tom McDonald. Um, and thank you guys for all the positive, positive comments that you came back with. Um, I don't even know where to begin with this guy. Uh, obviously, the wife isn't joining me for this one. Uh, she's got other things to do, but... I couldn't wait. I just, I literally couldn't wait to react to more of this guy. Um, what an incredible person, honestly. Uh, and the message from that song, and you guys were telling me, please react to more. And well, you didn't have to tell me. I, I was so moved by uh, Tom himself um, for what he does, not just because it's rap music. And if you know me and watch my other reactions, Tom was the first, our first rapper on the channel uh, because it's a very, um, for me, it's a very sensitive genre to do, um, especially with a lot of the current uh, rap music that's out. I don't like a lot of the message that's brought from rap itself. Um, it's not just because I don't care for mumble rap because I, I, I just can't listen to it. It's just the lyrics itself is just very, um, in, my, in my opinion, and I'm sorry for saying this, it's just very negative. It promotes a lot of things that I don't agree with let alone don't want in my life and for my kids. Um, but with this guy, it's different. I did some research on this guy, and it, it's very rare when you see a role model that sings rap music that's not only influential, but is against um, the stereotype of what a lot of people want in rap music. Um, I mean, he doesn't promote drugs. He doesn't promote you know, alcohol, things like that. And I think that's incredible because, I mean, if we got to be honest here, rap music is uh, very influential to younger, uh, the younger age, uh, especially, you know, teenagers. And I don't think they fully grasp. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Like the beats are really cool. They're very addicting. They're very interesting to hear. Um, but I don't think they fully understand the words. And I'm not saying that for everyone, I'm just saying for the younger minds, they haven't experienced uh, a lot of those negative things. Um, and yes, some have. And it's unfortunate that some kids grow up in areas to where this is all you got. And it's unfortunate that there's not enough rappers out there that speak more of a positive message. And I'm excited to start here. You guys told me start with Dear Rappers on my Tom McDonald rabbit hole journey, and I'm excited to be here. So I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm ready to dive into this. But before we do, don't forget, we also have a Patreon. If you'd like to help support not just me, but my incredible family and this incredible growing channel. It has been an incredible ride. And I keep saying incredible because I mean it. Um, I'm very, very blessed to have you guys. And I'm very blessed to have, especially uh, you Tom McDonald fans, um, to really give me some insight and some knowledge on this guy because, yeah, I mean, we need we need more people like this, especially in rap because rap is a huge genre. Um, but, yeah, I, I love to hear more rappers that speak out against uh, drugs, alcohol, violence, things like that. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's dive right on in. Tom McDonald, Dear Rappers, I know this is going to be good. It's got to be. Man, it's easy for these rappers who have it all. Talk about the days when they used to be sad. I guess I can't relate to being famous and wealthy. I'm 28 and still praying for the day I have a chance. Maybe y'all can help me out, though. I'm just trying to take care of my household. I don't even want to make my mouth go. I just want to win before the system that I'm in gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold. Dear rappers, can you help me? I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought. I got every single CD that you ever fucking dropped. I spent everything I had and I never had a lot. Oh my God, what a mess. Your words help me deal with the stress. Used to contemplate my suicide the nights I was depressed used to pop you in a boombox and sit up on my desk listen to your music till I felt it in my chest but these days it's like you don't have nothing left your music feels kind of like you're trying to write a check everything is digital I mean that that is exactly correct and I'm not a music expert I don't write music I listen to it obviously and yes I react to it but yes a lot of a lot. And it's not just rap. It's it's every genre. There's lots of artists out there that is literally making music just to write a check. And they're just filling their songs up with 
not just necessarily all negative things, but it doesn't it doesn't go anywhere, right? Um, it's just just trying to rhyme. It's not like it's not being expressive, I guess, enough. And that's I'm not saying that's how it is for every song, obviously, but there's a lot out there, and I don't you know no, I'm gonna say it. There's a lot of fake people out there. And I'm not trying to be on my high horse here, but let's be honest, there's a lot of people just wanting fame rather than, you know, be a good model citizen or a role model and help give back. Because without those people, your fans, you you don't go anywhere, right? So yeah, I feel like you as an artist, I feel like you have a debt to pay um, because your fans helped you get to that stardom. But when most celebrities or whoever get to that point, they forget about where they came from and they just become what we call a sellout, right? Uh, but this, this is really cool. I, I assume that this is like pretty much from the very beginning of where Tom started. So it's really interesting to, and I, I saw the little, the Eminem reference there in there in the beginning uh, where he held up the album from Eminem, but I can't, I can't really imagine, um, especially for Tom and, Trying to be in this genre, especially being white, nothing against that. I, I think it's great that, you know, he's able to do that. But I got to, you got to assume that there's a big, um, just a large amount of animosity towards him without people actually knowing him. Uh, they're stereotyping or whatever it may be, but I feel like he would have really struggled to get where he's at now. Um, and I, I appreciate nothing more than an underdog. Um, and don't get me wrong. I, I used to listen to a lot of like nineties rap. I was huge on Snoop Dogg, Tupac. It didn't, it didn't matter what coast I listened to. I enjoyed a lot of it. And I was influenced from my older brother, uh, because he was big into that. So I heard it from him. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't get into anything currently, it's not really my style, and I just feel like it's more selling out, or I just don't care for mumble rap because that's a huge part of it now. Uh, but I love the way this guy is just laying it down. It's it's very incredible. It's very engaging, for sure. But yeah, this this guy is he's got some crazy talent. But like I said, I I just can't imagine being him uh, and dealing with the the struggles that. He he's well, I'm sure he's still going through them, obviously. But, you know, from the very beginning, the struggles that he had to go through to even get where he's at now. So mad respect to Tom. Wow. In the boom box and sit up on my desk. Listen to your music till I felt it in my chest. But these days it's like you don't have nothing left. Your music feels kind of like you're trying to write a check. Everything is digital. I mean, no disrespect, but I'm paying even more and you give me even less. What the fuck? You taught me to think. You taught me to grow. You taught me the things to survive on my own. But now you teach me to drink. You teach me to smoke. You teach me to think. Every woman's a hoe. That's, exa that's exactly it. That is exactly it. Talking about... That's what a lot of rap music is now. And it, it was like that in the 90s, too, obviously. But, yeah, the, like, these rap artists are promoting drinking, smoking, sex, things like that. And, like I said, the rap genre is more dominant to being influenced by the younger generation. So they're already absorbing all this music into them. And, yes, like... Yeah, don't get me wrong. It it doesn't affect everybody, but people are everybody's different on how influence or how they interpret music. So some people they're easily influenced by music, and some people like they can just listen to it and be like, "Yeah, this is a cool song," but it's not like actually going to affect their you know their daily lives. But there are people that it does, um, especially with where you grow up and like bigger urban areas and stuff like that, to where. I mean, it's not to say that you don't have a choice if you grow up in that area, but y you have a choice, obviously, but the odds are stacked against you to get out of that situation. And it's I'm fortunate enough to where I don't live anywhere around those areas, um, especially with my kids. I mean, we're very fortunate not to deal with that because I, I just couldn't imagine uh, one of my kids being involved in a gang or it would just be it'd be very heartbreaking. Um, so, I mean, you see it in movies or you hear it on the news and it's just like, 
it's it's very I don't want to say depressing. It's just mentally it's a lot to go through. Um, and I'm sure every parent out there would feel the same way. Uh, but yeah, it's like I said, a lot of rap music and in, also in other genres, they have a habit of talking about the same topics over and over again. And the majority of those topics are sex, drugs, alcohol, uh, violence, gangs. It's like, how is that ever going to help uh, promote a positive environment for those around you? Uh, so I don't know. I, I just I have nothing but love for this guy for the very, very little I know about him. I just think it's incredible for what he's trying to where he's trying to reach with his music. I think it's just amazing. And I think there needs to be more people like him. And if there is more people like him, please let me know. I would love to react to them. I It doesn't matter if they're huge or not. I don't care. I enjoy this. This is actually getting me back into wanting to listen to rap again because, like I said, I've given up on it for so long. But, I mean, Tom's honestly kind of bringing me back into it. Uh, I thought it was just a lost genre, honestly. Um, but... So thank you, Tom, for this. It's very good. Even more and you give me even less. What the fuck? You taught me to think. You taught me to grow. You taught me the things to survive on my own. But now you teach me to drink. You teach me to smoke. You teach me to think. Every woman's a hoe. I don't want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Just a drug addict on TV. I can't hear another fucking song about abusing medication that I had to take just to stay alive. There's more important shit than what you wear and where you live and who you fucking, what you drink and what you spend and what you drive. Rappers full of bullshit. Rappers just a marketing vehicle for the product that the man wants you to buy. Rap about a full clip. Rappers just promoting different liquors and varieties of ways that you could die. Yeah. Dear rappers, can you help me? Are you almost out of alcohol to sell me? Tell me, cause drinking every night can be the way to getting wealthy If I'm really being honest, all this shit is overwhelming I need someone to look up to You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump You're living in a country where police are killing people every day And all you wanna talk about is doing drugs You've been blinded by the money, you've been blinded by the cars You've been blinded by the women, don't know who the fuck you are Thought I knew you when I spent a hundred dollars on a ticket to your show And now I feel like you stole my fucking money and I'm broke Man, he taught us how to rap and you taught us how to dress And you taught us how to act if we wanted to impress Now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood Yeah, I gotta assume, like, also, there's... I don't know where Tom's from. I think I read somewhere that he's from Canada. So I feel like that's probably also going to be a, an obstacle for him because a lot of rap fans, I'm sorry to stereotype here, a lot of rap fans will literally give a rapper crap because of where they came from. It doesn't matter how talented they are, but if you didn't grow up, you know, in an area to where life's difficult, um, then yeah, they, they automatically discredit you. So I, I don't know anything about Canada growing up or anything like that, but obviously in America, it's pretty intense. Um, but yeah, there's you got to assume that there's lots of rappers out there that uh, speak about not just these topics, but also like, I guess in a way are posers um, that pretend to be someone they're not, right? Uh, that act like they grew up in, you know, a difficult environment, but really they probably grew up in like, you know, somewhere safe and in, in the country or whatever, somewhere small. Uh, but yeah, I got to assume that there's people out there and I'm sure you guys know those people, but it, yeah, there's definitely a lot of fakeness and it's not just in rap. It's in every genre, but, but since we're listening to rap, obviously I'll use that comparison, but this guy is, straight up calling people out and i like that a lot honestly i think that's one thing we don't do enough of um is literally telling people the way it is and how it should be i guess like opinions matter uh and i'm not a fan of like attacking others i think it's i think it it's all about how you present it to somebody but sometimes it gets to that point to where yeah you need to call people out for their actions and what they do and that's what tom here is doing and from what i'm listening to and, and another thing with rap music is I obviously I have the words he's he's rapping at a pretty fast rate for me. And with my age, it's it's a little hard to follow. I'm not young anymore. Um, but from what I'm picking up, like this is this is what I'm getting from it. I mean, if I listen to this song, you know, 
consistently over and over again, then I'm going to pick up on more things as we go. But this is just from a uh, first time listening standpoint from what I'm seeing. But I, I love this. This is so good. And I'm broke, man. You taught us how to rap, and you taught us how to dress, and you taught us how to act if we wanted to impress. Now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would. What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them I inside don't the hood. Your Xanax bars, all your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art. No, 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 no. Just a drug addict. I don't want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art. No, 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 no. Just a drug addict on TV. Yeah. Wow. I was gonna. I was going to pause it again, but I, I assumed that the song was almost over, so I didn't want to, you know, bombard you guys with pausing. But I liked about where he said uh, that lots of rappers are promoting growing up in the hood, like making it sound like, yeah, the hood is awesome to live in. It's not, guys. OK, it's really not. And I'm like I said, I did not grow up in the hood. I, I don't know much about it. But you hear you see. What happens in the hood? That is not a place to grow up. That is not a place to raise a family. I mean, I understand that sometimes, you know, as parents, you know, life's hard. You don't have as many uh, opportunities, uh, especially to get away from it. Like, I get that. And I feel for those people. I really do. Um, but, man, you just – I it, it really irks me to hear – celebrities or rappers talk about how awesome the hood is it's not it really isn't um i i would not feel comfortable living in that place to where you know at any point i could get shot for unknown reasons just because that's the lifestyle or you know seeing drug dealers all the time and it's just it's not a place i would ever want my family to grow up and i i really do feel horrible for families that don't have a better choice, a better opportunity, but nothing but love. Second time here in Tom McDonald now, um, nothing but love and respect for this guy. Thank you for doing this, Tom. I really, really appreciate it. And maybe I'm, maybe I'm missing a lot of the message here. I probably am. Like I said, I don't know this music at all, but from the little bits that I'm picking up and how I'm interpreting it, I feel like I'm understanding it. Um, and it what really blows my mind, and like I said, I read your guys' comments as much as I can, and I try and respond. Um, I see a lot of older uh, older people listening to this and commenting on them like, yeah, I'm 50-some years old, and, you know, Tom got me back in a rap. It's like, good for you. Seriously. Like, rap shouldn't be a genre of, to cater to younger kids. Um, no genre should ever be that way. You shouldn't be able to just put a genre in a box and be like, this is only for this age. Um, so I think that's awesome that he's reaching out beyond uh, where rap music usually typically stays as far as that age. He's reaching out. I, I love that a lot. I think that's incredible. And I hope he really gets to where he wants to go from what I'm seeing and what I'm reading from you guys, he's not in it for fame and fortune. He seems like a very humble guy, and I admire the hell out of that. So you have nothing but respect from me, Mr. Tom McDonald. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm Tom Toughnuts, not Tom McDonald, but it's cool that we share a similarity there. Uh, giving you another reaction to Mr. Tom McDonald doing some deer rappers. Now it's your job, everybody, to tell me where do I go next with this guy as well as if there's any other rappers out there that have a similar message or a similar style to this guy, I want to hear it. I want to bring it on the channel, obviously. So please let me know. I think I saw some comments for a, a Christian rap artist named NF. I think it was NF, just the letters NF. Let me make sure you let me know about that. I don't want to screw that up, but uh, if that's the case, yes, obviously I want to bring him on too. Um, so yeah, tell me what tell me what I need to do. I, I uh, thank you guys like 
you guys are it's yes it's me reacting to it but it's you guys guiding this channel so really it's most of you guys that are doing the work for me and tell me where i need to go and where i need to listen but this has been one of the real treasures to find uh on this channel so thank you for that um but yeah, anyways, guys, I'm Tom Tough Thoughts giving you another reaction. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I hope to catch you at our next live reaction. I can't wait. Tom, we'll be back to see you soon, buddy.